Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 28. Write the outer electronic configuration from SPDF block. So for S, I know it is NS1 or 2. This is for S. For P, I have NS2, NP1 to 6. For D block, I have N minus 1 D 1 to 10 and then I have NS 0 to 2. For F I have N minus 2 F 1 to 14 N minus 1 D 0 to 10 generally it is 10 only NS 2. So in this case in this case my N can be greater than 1 or equal to 1. In this case since I'm talking about P block elements N has to be greater than 2 but the maximum value of N is 7 so I say 2 to 7. In this case, D block animal starts with n is equal to 3. But in this case, n is equal to 3 represents n minus 1. So I am saying n is equal to 4. So it starts with n is equal to 4. Why? Because this has to be 3. So this it has to be 3, n is equal to 4. And here n starts with 6 because it has to be 4. n minus 2 has to be 4. So n starts with 6. That is the general form. So assign the position to the elements having outer electronic configuration as this. So we'll take the first part, put n is equal to 3, this becomes 3s2, 3p4. Correct. So what is the value of maximum value of n? n max is what? 3. So it is third period. Okay. The last electron is coming in which group? Block P. So this P block. Correct. So it is in P block. P block, my group number is equal to nothing but 10 plus valence electrons. 10 plus, what is the valence electron? 2 plus 4, 6. 6. So it is. 16 block. So for this I have third period P block and 16 block. This is done. Let's take second one. N is equal to 4 you put N minus 1 becomes 3. 3 D 2. 4 S 2. Since this is D, this is D block. The maximum value of N is 4. So it is fourth period. Right? Now finding group, let's find the group. So for D group, the group number is nothing but my the number of electrons in D orbitals, M and F and D orbitals plus valence electrons. So D orbitals I have 2 electrons, N is equal to 4, so third D orbitals I have 2 electrons and I have a S orbital, the valence electron in the fourth orbital is 2, so it becomes 4. So the group number is 4, this is 4th group, correct? So it is 4th period D block 4. Let's take the last one, n is equal to 6, n minus 2 becomes 4 F7, n minus 1 becomes 5 D1 and 6 S2. Correct. Since it is F block, the last goes to F, it is F block, maximum number of orbital is 6, 6th period. So in F block element, there is no group, right, the lanthanide actinide, there is no group. So this is the answer. Correct, very easy, see just by the uh, Electronic configuration, I can find the groups and periods in the blocks. Create the formula of the stable binary compound that would be formed by combination of following pair lithium oxygen, magnesium nitrogen, aluminium iodine, silicon oxygen, phosphorus chlorine, element 71, and fluorine. So lithium and oxygen, 
So lithium has oxidation state of plus one, oxygen minus two, so it will become LiO2. Correct? Why? Because Li2, oh sorry. Correct? Why? Because it needs uh, plus 1 into 2 and plus 1 into 2 and this is minus 2, you add it becomes 0. Correct? So nitrogen has minus 3 oxidation state, magnesium has plus 2. So the LCM of plus 3, uh, 3 and 2 is 6. So magnesium has to be 6 by 2 that is 3. So I have 3 magnesium and nitrogen has to be 6 by 3 that is 2. So nitrogen will be 2. So MgN32 will be the formula, oxidation state. Aluminium and iodine, aluminium has plus 3. Iodine has minus 1. So that means if I take one aluminium, I need 3 iodine to compensate that because overall charge is 0. Correct? Because we see 3 plus minus 1 into 3 is equal to 0. Silicon and oxygen. Correct? Silicon is plus 4, oxidation state. Oxygen is minus 2. So if I take one silicon, I need 2 oxygen to compensate the charge. It becomes SiO2. Correct. For phosphorus, it is plus 3 or plus 5. Two possible states and for it is minus 1. So I can have either PF3 or PF5. If I consider plus 3, it is PF3. If I consider plus 5, it is PF5. Because if I take, if I assume 3, I need 3 into 3 iFluorines. If I consider Sorry, if I consider 5, I need 5 chlorine. If I consider 3, I need 3 chlorine. Correct. Now, element 71. So, element 71 is deuterium. The balance uh, oxidation state of plus 3. So, if I take 1 deuterium, I need 3 chlorine to compensate for this. Plus chlorine is minus one. That's why if you see just by the uh, oxidation state, I can find the formula. So the question says in the periodic table, the period indicates what? Is it atomic number, atomic mass, quantum number, principal quantum number, or azimuthal quantum number? So if we have seen that the period is nothing but the maximum value of n, and n is nothing but principal quantum number. Correct. Anything that influences the valence electron will affect the chemistry of the element. Which of the following factor does not affect the valence electron? Quantum number, principal quantum number, nuclear charge, nuclear mass, and number of core electron. So if you see, the valence shell is impacted by N, very much we know. Nuclear charge, very much we know. Number of core electron also. The nuclear mass is something which doesn't matter. That's why if you see, we told that isotopes, right, they behave almost same property because the neutron, uh, electron and the proton is same. The so neutron mass is generally from the uh, neutrons and those things are something which does not impact much. So nuclear mass is the answer that does not impact the valence shell. The size of the uh, isoelectronic species is affected by nuclear charge, Principal quantum number, electron, electron interaction, none of the factor. So if you see this is impacted by nuclear charge because we say that isoelectronic species they have same number of electron. It is a nuclear charge which determines size of the atom. Correct? Because they have same electrons, number of electrons, so these things will be same. This will be same, right? The only thing is the nuclear charge which determines the size of atom in isoelectronic species. 
so we have this elements so we have to find the correct order which one is correct so i have uh, of the metallic character so let's take this boron aluminium magnesium potassium so let, let's write the element the second uh, and third order actually so we have uh, aluminium magnesium potassium boron so i have boron somewhere here then where is the aluminium aluminium is somewhere below this the manganese manganese is before aluminium then i have potassium potassium is somewhere here right here i have sodium magnesium aluminium potassium i have here then uh, what all boron i have taken aluminium magnesium potassium i have taken so these are the four elements i have to consider so i'm talking about the metallic character so metallic character if you see is increasing here and it is increasing here right that means it is increasing in this direction so that is potassium will have the maximum metallic character is this is the case where potassium has a maximum boron will have minimum metallic character this is the case where boron has minimum metallic character so this is my answer right because you see this is the order of metallic character so in the period if you draw or raise the element it will be something like this right so this is my group 2 this is group 3 group 4 sorry period 1 period 2 sorry period 2 period 3 period 4 this is my group 1 this is group 2 and this guy is group 3 so we have this element you have to find the correct order of non metallic character so let's again order the same in the same fashion we have done in the last one so we have boron then we have carbon then we have nitrogen oxygen four in this fashion we have boron carbon nitrogen oxygen four so we have covered boron carbon nitrogen four the one thing that is pending is silicon right silicon is just below carbon right so this is my order and i know that for non metallic character it increase here and it decrease here so it increase here so that means it increase in this direction correct so that means with this fluorine should have the maximum metallic character and uh, silicon or this boron will have the minimum silicon so let's take like this fluorine will have the maximum uh, metallic character so let's cut this part so everything is same except this guy now so out of boron and silicon which has least metallic character so we know silicon will have least metallic character so this is my answer cuz silicon is below right so it will have least metal right because this guy is my period 2 this is period 3 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again